Okay, so we're going to be looking at a semicircle function transformed. Uh, let's zoom in here. Uh, we notice that this function has many transformations on it. Um, over here we have a reflection in the x-axis. Uh, this 16, by the way, we want to rewrite it as 4 squared so that we can identify the radius, which is 4. Over here, now, normally we would, you know, um, look at the b value as negative 2 and the h value as positive 2, but you actually have to do a little bit of work um, rearrangement before you get to that stage. So here's what I mean. you got to factor out that negative 2. And what you're left with inside is actually not a positive 2, but a negative 1 when you factor it out. Okay, actually I'm going to remove that square. Uh, the negative 3 there is going to be our vertical shift down 3 units. Okay, so let's get started. We have a whole bunch of stuff going on here. Um, I'm going to actually do the mapping notation for this so that we can see where the points go. So xy is going to get mapped to the point. Um, 1 over negative 2, or 1 over b, x plus 1, and negative y, or negative 1y, minus 3. So what are the points that we're going to be using? Well, again, let's look at our circle. Uh, the base points are going to be 4, 0, 0, 4, and negative 4, 0. That graph looks something like this. So I go from here to here to here. This is the original. And I get some, oh, a bit too far. I get something like this. Okay. Wonky circle, but again, you get the idea. So what, what's our new, our new uh, set of points going to look like? Well, let's begin. 4, 0. That's going to go to the point um, negative 2. Sorry, not negative 2, but uh, negative 1 comma, negative 3, 0 comma 4 is going to go to the point uh, 1 comma, negative 7, and negative 4 comma 0 is going to go to the point um, 3 comma, what do we have here, negative 3. Okay, so what does this look like in our graph? Let's do a rough grid here. Here is my x, here is my y, and I'm going to put in negative 1, negative 3, so back 1, down 3, over here, negative 1, negative 3, uh, 1, 3, so I have uh, 1 over here, and sorry, 1 and negative 7, it will be somewhere down here, if I add this on get negative 7 and finally that's 1 and then I finally get to 3 and that'll bring me to negative 3 which is roughly over here and if I connect the dots together okay, I get this kind of elongated circle somewhat uh, but it's sorry semicircle the thing to notice is that it is you know uh, reflected twice, once in the x-axis and then once in the y-axis. So from here, I go to this here. And again, if you want to see this done accurately, use some grid paper and you can see the reflections uh, take place. Our domain, in this case, is going to be all real numbers, such that um, x is between negative 1 and 3. And the range is going to be all real numbers as well, such that y is greater than negative 7 and less than or equal to negative 3. And there we have it.